we met at, in Braggs High School of Science. And uh, didn't have any classes together and didn't really see each other, but I, at least I knew who he was. And the first social thing we did together was a group of four of us, uh, Bonnie Abrams, Bobby Meltzer, Linda and I, uh, decided that we wanted to sing in harmony. And it was around uh, in December, and if you're going to sing in harmony, what are you going to sing around December? Christmas carols. And at some point, we all realized we're all Jewish. And at some point, we realized we all knew the Hanukkah songs and even the Yiddish Hanukkah songs. So we switched right over and sang Hanukkah songs for, for hours. Turns out my sister had known Linda's brother, each of whom were a couple years older than us. And Mike was a good friend of another good friend, Ruth, Ruth Parker. And towards the end of the year, our social studies classes, I guess we had social studies at the same time, um, the two classes came together to watch a film about something about social studies. And my friend Ruth and I were sitting in our chairs in our class, and Mike's class came along, and he sat down between us. And we watched the movie, and his class goes back to their room. And it's the end of the, the period, and I get up, and I realize that my chain belt, back then, kind of these little chain link belts were in, in fashion, I was chained to my chair. And I realized, I figured out exactly what had happened. Because even though I didn't know Mike well, I knew him well enough to be able to say, Ruth, get your friend Mike back in here and unlock this chair. <laughs> so that's how Lynn and I met. And then eventually we started going out. That was sophomore year. And eventually we started going out in senior year. And then I broke up with her because I couldn't handle how close we were getting. Uh, now he says that he couldn't uh, deal with how close we were getting. And he certainly didn't say anything like that. And I wasn't thinking anything like that because we already knew where we were going to college. It, I was going in upstate New York and Mike was going to Pittsburgh at uh, Carnegie Mellon. And I was going to Cornell. And it was just going to die a natural death. But no, in March of senior year, we had the, the, the best part of high school ahead of us to, to finish up and graduate. And I had planned his birthday, which was at the end of March. And um, I, I was heartbroken. Uh, but not because I thought we were serious and forever happy ever after, happily ever after. I knew we were going to go our separate ways. And, and she still doesn't forgive me for it, but somehow she forgave me enough to marry me eventually. Six years after we graduated high school, our good friend Ruth, of back in 10th grade social studies fame, um, got married and invited some of her friends back to come to her wedding. And Mike and I arrived separately and left together. The rest is history.